thank you very much. I'm Adrian Dix, the BC Minister of Health. Beside me is Dr. Bonnie Henry, the Chief Provincial of the Provincial Health Officer for British Columbia. Uh, as we've uh, consistently said over time, we're going to keep the public, the uh, media informed of uh, new cases and of changes with respect to the novel coronavirus. And uh, we have some new information today, and I wanted to introduce Dr. Henry. Thank you very much. Um, so today we are announcing that we do have a new case of COVID-19 here in British Columbia. This is a, a young woman, in, a woman in her 30s, who is uh, positive at the, the testing that was done here at the BC CDC lab. Um, it is samples have gone on to the NML for confirmation, but we are confident that this is a true positive. Um, she resides in the Fraser Health region and has recently returned from travel to Iran. Um, Fraser Health is actively investigating the close contacts and a number have already been put in isolation and additional information is being gathered even as we speak. We'll be uh, doing a detailed investigation of her travel uh, when her symptoms started and determine whether we need to investigate or notify people who are on the aircraft that she uh, returned in um, and more information around that will be in the coming days. She is, uh, has a relatively uh, milder form of the disease and she is in isolation at home as are a number of close contacts at this point. So that brings our total number of cases here in BC to six. One presumed positive, uh, four who are confirmed positive and remain in self-isolation and under the care of public health and uh, our public health teams. Uh, the first case, as we mentioned uh, earlier this week, has recovered and is no longer in isolation um, following the resolution of their symptoms and multiple um, negative testing. So the risk um, to us here in British Columbia, I think this reflects uh, that we have a very robust system for picking up people who may have this virus. This one clearly is a, a bit unusual in that uh, the travel to Iran is something new and uh, Iran has uh, recently started reporting cases uh, and we are working and will be working with our national and international colleagues to better understand where the risks and where she may have been exposed to this virus prior to her return to Canada. We still believe the risk in Canada and here in BC for sure is low and we are encouraging people to continue to take those measures that prevent transmission of infection particularly washing your hands regularly, covering your mouth when you cough, and um, uh, not touching your face. And really importantly, if you are feeling sick yourself, even if you only believe it's the flu or cold, it's very important to stay home and self-isolate and stay away from others so that you're not passing this on. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, and just to, uh, just to reiterate um, our continued view that the risk to British Columbians is low, but we are acting with vigilance in our public health care system to ensure, first of all, that anyone who is diagnosed is given the best appropriate care, but also that we ensure the protections of others in the community, and that continues to be our overriding concern. This is our sixth case in British Columbia. As you know, one case has been resolved in the sense that uh, our, the first case that we announced in British Columbia has had two negative tests. Uh, there is obviously um, significant investigation we're going to be doing on this case. In addition, British Columbia, more than any other jurisdiction in Canada, has a low bar for testing, and we have tested a very significant number of people. We'll be announcing those numbers tomorrow uh, in, our, in our regular way at 9.30 on the BC Centre for Disease Control website. We continue to do that uh, much more than other jurisdictions, and we want to, of course, encourage people who have symptoms to engage with the public health care system. We think this is the most effective way of dealing and controlling um, the virus in British Columbia and ensuring that both the individuals involved, people who do get sick, but also the remainder of the public uh, stays healthy and is as safe as absolutely possible. And with that, uh, Dr. Henry and I will take questions. Richard. Dr. Henry, can you explain um, the Iran connection? What, what makes that unique and, and what that may mean for the, the spread of the virus? 
Yeah, so that's, um, that's a very good question. Um, we were surprised, as you can imagine, um, but this person was only in areas of Iran, and Iran has recently started reporting that they've had cases there, including just yesterday it reported they had five cases and two deaths. And so that obviously triggered a bit of, of interest from um, people around the world um, who are looking into this virus because most cases we know from China are milder cases. So that could be an indicator that there's more widespread transmission. And I think this is what we call an indicator or a sentinel event as well. Um, and a sentinel event means that it, it's a marker that something may be going on um, broader than what we expect. And so we have reported it as, as our responsibility under the international health regulations to the Public Health Agency of Canada, and they'll report it as, uh, on our behalf to the World Health Organization. And I expect there'll be an international investigation to try and understand where the exposure occurred. So it's not clear yet, um, but the travel was from Iran. And, and you mentioned earlier this was a more mild case, you believe? Um, mild enough that she uh, was assessed at a hospital um, and sent home um, after the testing and has been at home and is um, being managed and cared for at home. Hospital in Canada? Yes, yes. Um, can you tell us the timeline of when she was in Iran, how long she was there, what she did there, and when she arrived back? I, I continue in general sense, um, because we're still getting the details, but she was in Iran in late January and was there for a couple of weeks and returned earlier um, in the, within the last week. And when you say that Iran has only recently started reporting as of yesterday five cases and two deaths, can you extrapolate more information from that? Or uh, I only know what I read on the uh, WHO uh, reports that we receive. We do have a little bit of insight um, in that they've said there are at least 20 other people um, in various areas in Iran um, that uh, are being tested for this, including in several cities, both um, south of Tehran and north of Tehran. So um, that's uh, something that the international community and certainly the WHO will be working with uh, Iran to help us understand. And we'll be linking with them to see um, where this person had been in Iran and whether uh, they were in contact with somebody there. It was in late January, so I would assume she's been in contact with a number of people here since she's returned. She just returned uh, this week, and so the, the, there has been a number of contacts, including some close family contacts who are in isolation, um, and we're looking at all of her movements over the last few days since she's been home. I'm sorry, you said some of her family members are in self-isolation. Yeah, they're being monitored by um, public health. So, Dr. Henry, the woman was in Iran, she came home, decided there was something wrong, went to the hospital, like what was she thinking when she went to the hospital, like did she just think I've got the flu or? Absolutely. As uh, many people, most of the people I mentioned the other day, most of the people who have been tested here in BC for coronavirus have turned up positive for influenza. And we are seeing quite a lot of influenza. And my understanding from initial discussions with the clinician who saw her, as well as the patient herself, um, they, they did think it was influenza. And you know that is one of the things that we've been saying. There is still, we're in our respiratory season. And it's really important, especially now, when we have all of this other things going on and the concern that we have about coronavirus and other respiratory viruses, to have a very low threshold for staying away from others, staying home, um, monitoring your children for uh, symptoms as well, and keeping them away from others and home from school if they're feeling unwell.